What's up, gangies? I'm tired as fuck right now. It's uh, Saturday, April 2nd. It's 1.50. 10 minutes, I'm supposed to meet up with all the other artists for the Got The Gang Showcase at the end of this month. And I'm gonna be doing promo videos for them all, introducing them to each other, and then maybe try to figure out some sort of like, uh, I don't know, some sort of like pro like extra promotion thing too. Like last last show I did, I tried to make like filters for each artist, but I don't know if I have enough time to do that this month. So realistically, I'm trying to figure out if there's like a like a smarter way maybe for me to do it. But I don't know. We're just gonna see. I'm gonna hit the Persian Square right now. You're gonna meet everybody. So thank you for tuning in. We're watching Got the Vision right now. Got the Gang Showcase Edition. Catch you guys later. Yo, what's up, gang? Hey, what's up, man? It's Kim Caruso here. So, who are we speaking to? I'm Often. So, who are we speaking to today? We're speaking to Kari Creations. So, uh, who are we speaking to? Man, you're speaking to Nate Ross Smith, the one and only out of Midtown, California, West Los Angeles, California. You're speaking to uh, Gathi Couture, the one and only man, official Gathi Couture right here. What's going on up in Cleveland, Ohio? facilitate like making sure the, the show runs you feel what I'm saying so like technically speaking uh, making sure everything sounds correct everything sounds like as it should be um, before our sound check tomorrow so I'll be just getting all this stuff together today running my last little sound tweaks for myself too for Kenny so that tomorrow we can kind of just run some quick checks for those guys for the uh, for, the, for those guys the artists uh, K. Caruso and they arrive often. Uh, hopefully, like within maybe like the first hour of us being there, we can have all that stuff set up by 6.30 to hopefully um, start sound tests. Because it shouldn't take us longer than 30 minutes to get the, this in there. I'm not, I don't think I'm even, I may bring like one or two of the lights, but even with that, it shouldn't take us that long with like five people. I don't, like that's like OD, you, you know what I'm saying? It should go so fast, so. Um, as long as everything works smoothly, we should be pretty much good to go, man. I'm also gonna show you guys some of that sound check stuff too. You already know I'm gonna bring you there. But uh, today, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready, man. I got this shit. Good to go. I'm officially now being, um, being asked to be uh, Kari's live, live sound engineer for her performance. So. We're gonna figure it out real quick, help her out. Get this shit going, man. It's got the vision, man.
first one is Sonido Cueco. Should say Sonido. Yeah. Huh? Okay. The backing. Uh, the backing one. I'll try these. Just do a, the two, the next one will just, uh, the two be a long backing. What?
Sabe. Is there anything you want to like talk about or say? Is there stuff you want to like? Um, actually, for this one, I would like like maybe like. 10, 10, 15 seconds, because this is the first someone else produced this, so I, I want to make sure people know I didn't make it. Yeah, because I'm trying to think of what I'm going to say. It's going to be real brief anyway, so, okay. Yeah, no, that's good. After this one. Remember? to still put in some of the keys of the song so that you can have like the help on vocally hitting some of the notes with the reverb because then the reverb may drown you out okay. so that you may not be able to tell what notes you're hitting mm -hmm. so it may help to have that little cushion okay so just in case if you're a little bit off or sharp it won't be as noticeable okay. is then when it when that that sound of reverb, like when it echoes, are like the same thing when you hear like uh, big bands on here, 21 Guns, especially mm -hmm. 21 Guns. It's like a, a dissonance mm -hmm. if, if you don't hit the right note. So it's like, you know what I mean? No, it's like the echo of like the wrong and it's note. The and echo like, of uh, exactly. yeah, no, you okay. have to wait for it to drop to it completely yeah, yeah. out too. So it's better just to have it low key be a place where you know everything is going to be perfect because then if, if it's the wrong one, it still sounds good. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. We'll still want we'll to see it after. You know, I just want to get all of these in here first, see what time we have, and then we go from there. What's the one after this? The high. Yeah, cause this, I don't talk, I don't sing for another thirty seconds. It's kind of like an instrumental in the beginning. This is gonna be my break song, kind of. Is it cool for you to start at the end like that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just gotta make sure. That sounds real fast. Because of this. 
Oh, okay, okay, I was like, whoa. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Oh, shit. I know. Feels? Lo mejor. Be like something you put um, one into the last line, especially is it tell them why they could just hear all the stuff they just heard? Okay, because then I like, oh, shit, okay, that's out. Yeah, I hear all that stuff. Okay. Crispy. Yeah. I counted it up to is that I got like 16 seconds or 16 minutes? Yeah, I put space though, so you're like 18. Cool, so okay, cool. Perfect. So I'm not over. So it's just like, cause provide a list, man. Like y'all, if, you, if you're an artist, bro, and you're a part of a show, do not assume the DJ is going to do any work for your ass, bro. That's what, that's why a lot of artists get up behind, bro. I'm not going to hold you. Like you got to go above and beyond, bro. Send them niggas a list. Send them niggas with the BPM, the key of your song. Make that nigga be like, God damn, you know that much about your own damn. Like, yes, you should know that much about your own music. You know what I'm saying? Who else is supposed to know it? Like, for real, for real. Who else is supposed to know that shit? Like, huh. <sighs> makes it so hard, man. Make it easy for me to help you guys. I'm not even gonna put this in there. <laughs> This will be in the 10 year edition, 10 years from now. I'll be like, yeah, here's some, some special moments from Gothi, you know, we got to see. 
Test that in to need to start doing the mic test. Mic test? So you just want to set that on the tripod or just on the table. <laughs> sure you feel like you're like your weight Sony lens, bro, has been like low key putting in a lot of work. Thank you, Sony. 
And honestly, the body, not even really like touched at all. I think it's just a little bit of problem with the shutter. I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> just Bro, and it felt hard too. She's like, ah. She's like, no. If it was me, I'd be dead. No. Oh, yeah, you would. You would be dead. Yeah, you would be, because it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you just do? I just rehearsed my set. I just rehearsed my set for the Gotham Gang Showcase tomorrow. It is. Did you like how you sounded? You excited? Yeah. I hope all y'all like it too. Uh, what was your favorite song from the rehearsal? Just from rehearsal. Just from rehearsal. Probably Sonido Wake. Just because that's my favorite song. It's the first song I ever wrote in Spanish, so it will always have a special little place in my heart. But, I don't know. It's cool to see and hear all the songs I made in high school come out of the speaker because I never did that. I always just had my guitar. Has there been anything you've, uh, like, I guess, anything you've noted, like, picked up or, like, you know, as you're performing these songs live for the first time with, like, more production and stuff, like, has it been easy to pick up? How, how, how has the, uh, like, you know, adjusting to, like, more gear and stuff like that been? It's nice. It's way, I didn't have, like, any sort of like equipment other than like a mic and like stock sounds almost but like it's, it's cool to hear like uh it's cool to hear the the quality because then it'll match the work and i like to hear them both be good and i don't know, just hear it all that just everything and i was like whoa like i don't know it sounds way better than i Ever, ever thought it was gonna sound like and mine coming from my like computer that I had when I was like 15 so it's just really sick. Is it interesting to see too like how everything kind of comes together with like the tools as far as like um like the live setup like having like certain uh like having auto-tune on stuff having like uh, CLA vocals having all that stuff like on everything so that it like from the jump can just be quality like what is is it like how does it feel like you know what i'm saying because it's like from from not having some of that stuff too and hearing yourself laugh to now being able to hear yourself with like the extra voice and like under you and like the lower voice and stuff how does how do you think like do you think that adds any like an extra dimension like to your performance yeah because before it would have to be like pre it'd be pre-recorded but now it's just like everything's live no, and I mean like, and I mean like, exactly, like, exactly, like, expand on it a little bit too. Like, what do you, what do you think some of those differences are now too, in comparison to like your set before, maybe? When I said before, I just have my amp and my guitar and then a mic, no reverb. But every time I would record at home, I have reverb. But now, like, I got it to where I can play my instrumentals with my voice and a little auto tune to help me carry some of that shit because it's been a while and I'm like been five years so like <laughs> some of them I'm like gotta reteach myself how to do but um for like breath I guess like breath patterns but one thing is probably rehearsing that I have trouble with right now is filling the air and talking like in between because I'm like thinking so much about the next song but like I don't because before when I'd like do open mics and even that one show that I was offered I didn't say nothing, I just kind of was like, I was the shy kid where I was just like, okay, I just come here and do my thing, and then I just sit back where I was sitting before, so, I don't know, trying to open up my shell and talk, pretend that there's like 30 other people to talk to, and I think that's my biggest thing, because I was not a talker, I was, I'd even, even if I knew the song, I'd have tabs, so I'd have something to look at, so I didn't have to look at other people, so this will be my test. <laughs> time and then um how do you think like do you think the actual feeling itself from like watching you how do you think it would feel in comparison to like your setup before and to your setup right now how do you think it would actually feel from a, from an audience perspective you know what i mean oh yeah no because it would be like it's well it's more... oh, cause i was always trying to think like what the consumer is going to think about no, you know what i'm saying it'd be like oh cool this kid's trying 
You know what I mean? And it's like she got like she got her guitar, she's singing, but now it's like holy shit, she, there's two speakers connected. She got that auto tune and then we got the reverb and then a lot which I always had in like my um, older songs that I've put out is like a, a deep like a monster voice or whatever the heck. But now I can just have that live instead of it being pre-recorded and then having to sing on top of it, which is how I thought it, I was going to have to do it. But then you showed me a whole different <laughs> different way. Shout out Ivory Music Studios. Shout out Ivory Music Studios. Shout out Gothic Couture. And then Gothic World. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Shout out Gothic World. No, nah, but for real, that ass is. I think I only only thing I can really take credit for is just the uh, vocal production stuff. Only because this is something that I wanted to provide to the artists who actually wanted to have that stuff and who were like willing to work with me on it. So it's like thank you for letting me put the package on somebody to show you guys to show essentially like anybody who wanted to invest into this or anybody who wanted to sign to Ivy Music to see what it would be like if they were doing a show as a signed artist to see what kind of production value would be, to see what our promotions would look like, to see what our music videos would look like, to see, do you see what I'm saying? Exactly, 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 exactly. You see what I'm saying? So thank you for letting me do that. I appreciate that, seriously. So I can add vocal production and live uh, live audio now to Ivory Music Studios, officially, because I just got to do it for somebody else that wasn't me. <laughs> That's how this shit works, it's weird. Ha ha ha.